film industry, it's it's a business. It's an entertainment. We like the glitz, but it's uh, the entertainment is a business. So consequently, they're interested in Michigan and our film incentives. And for us, we're interested in bringing them here and creating jobs and economic development. Uh, you know, it's growing. We've gone from a couple million dollars in spending to two years ago, 125 million in spending in state. Mm -hmm. Last year, 224 million. 52 movies filmed last year. We think we'll do better than that this year. And we think we'll do, it's my prediction that we'll do in excess of $400 million worth of spending and, and filming in the great state of Michigan this year. And we heard about the incentives and we came to Michigan to check it out. And when we went to Kalamazoo College, we said, oh my God, bingo, that's that's our place. Look, you guys like what Michigan has to offer as far as filmmaking? Oh, it's terrific, it's terrific. Uh, Janet Lockwood, who uh, is the film commissioner, well, she just retired, but she's done an incredible job. We were one of the first film companies to actually get the film incentive. So now we're back with the finished product. We're about to go into distribution. We want to say thank you to the folks that helped us here in Michigan. We had a lot of crew here, a lot of supporters. So it's just great to be back for this festival. What really sold it was the level of uh, professionalism that Randall uh, sold us on and said, you know, these people here are fantastic. It's a great place to do it. They're very cooperative. You got to come and, do, and shoot here. And so we were here two days and we're committed. We're here. There's no sunset on our incentives. So I think that, you know, as I mentioned tonight, the numbers will speak for themselves so that we're going to continue to collect the data about how much money has been spent in Michigan, how many people have been put to work and get all of that good news out. I mean, it's, we've got a great story. We've got a great story to tell. We need to have the, the infrastructure built here that makes us a really year-round player in film and TV production. It's extremely important that there's bricks and mortar to go along with all the other good things that have happened in the last few so years. I, uh, I love the fact that we've got these Michigan tax incentives and that L.A. is coming here and shooting movies and et cetera, but the truth of the matter is the vast majority of those movies are currently being cast in L.A., the top crew is coming from L.A., they're being written in L.A., they're being edited in L.A. These are L.A. movies that are coming to Michigan. What I like to do is originate movies in Michigan, hire 90 to 95% Michigan cast, same thing with Michigan crew. What is the local impact with the economy? It's, are you seeing an impact? Oh, huge. It's, um, you know, uh, local hotels are overflowing. I, I know, um, you know, I, I interface with the hotel, the sales managers that say they, that they're luckily sold in times where they normally would have uh, a lot of vacancy, mm -hmm. um, but also a lot of really cool stories on the local level like florists, hardware stores, um, people getting jobs. Really you're starting to see an emergence of uh, an economy that the incentives uh, are supposed to create and they're doing that. Okay. If something is creating jobs and bringing money to the state that normally wouldn't be here, mm -hmm. um, you know, sure that there's going to be some learning curve on our end, and I think we're handling that pretty well. The state treasury and state film office are doing a tremendous job of uh, learning um, the intricacies of the incentive program and how it how it's going to work. I've been out in L.A. for a long time, but I, I came back here to uh, actually direct my first uh, feature, The Bunny Lady or Christmas Bunny was my first feature that I directed, though I've been an assistant director for many, many years out there. Um, and then I was lucky enough to come right on back and do horizontal accidents. Uh, so it's very cool to be able to do two projects in a row, yeah. My film is taking advantage of the, the incentives. They are fantastic. I hope Michigan keeps them. Uh, they are great for filmmakers. They're great for the local uh, economy. They're great for local uh, production people and actors. Yeah, absolutely. Michigan needs to keep the incentives in. Uh, you know, I can, I, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but the incentives, if the incentives are gone, it's going to be like the Titanic going down, yeah. except that all the people in the life rafts are going to be the producers from Hollywood, and all the people that are left on the boat are going to be all the film people in Michigan. Right. So, right. so keep the incentives. Anthony, people don't know Anthony as much, but he's funded all of our tax incentives over the last 12 months. And Anthony felt it was time because the state's growing so much to put permanent roots in, as well as I did. And we've opened corporate offices over on Kenmore. In, in any state in the U.S. we shoot a movie, it's always the incentive first. Because in an economic crisis like today in recession, you really have to be ultra smart. And Michigan uh, is the strongest incentive in the, in the U.S. It's the best incentive. And I think that, that obviously shows because, you know, you've got such an abundance of films here. Um, I just want to grow the industry in Grand Rapids and Western Michigan, and Anthony wants to do the same. So. Yeah, st studies have shown that when you have studios open, uh, you're definitely going to bring a lot of production 
into, into Michigan, which is going to bring a lot of crews into Michigan as well. So you should get a lot of new jobs. Right?